know, I have a philosophy that I use with not only my work, but with my kids when I'm teaching them. And I, you know, and they'll hear me say this all the time. You know, you can be 50% comfortable with the situation, you know, the way that things are going or the, or the way I want you to work and to act, but you need to be 100% committed. Since Clint came on board, the drivers I've opened up more to him. Um, past experiences weren't so positive here at the terminal. But all the drivers know now if there's a problem, whether it be people net, whether it be pay issues, um, issues with loads, they know they could all come to Clint and he will help them with that. And Clint will listen to you. Uh, you know, you call in, you have problems, something, or it, it's a good working relationship. It makes my job a lot easier and a lot more enjoyable. Well, I went to college at Sol Ross State University, and I played basketball and tennis there, and that was one of the main reasons that uh, I got my kids involved in sports. That not only helped me get through college, but um, it also taught me so many life lessons. I have four kids. I have a son that's, that's just recently graduated high school, and he will be joining college next semester. I have a daughter that's a junior in high school, and um, I have a eighth grader to be an incoming freshman, and then I have a second grade son. And um, when we moved to Rawls uh, 10 years ago, I really got involved with uh, the RJAA, which is the uh, Rawls Junior Athletic Association. He does everything for the community. He dedicates a lot of his time for that community. My son played um, high school sports for Newville High School, and Clint's son played sports for Rawls High School, and they were huge rivals. Even when we played each other after every game, Clint would come up to my son and tell him what a good job he did. And after a while, my son knew that when we played Rawls High School, he expected Clint to come over there and congratulate him, and he always did. Clint and I uh, have known each other through RJA. He started out as a, one of the reps that came on the board, and here this past year we voted him in as um, our president. He is very caring, um, will do anything for anybody. Clint's really good about if somebody can't afford for their child to play, then he's going to work with them to do anything possible for the kids to play, especially those families that have more than one that are playing, because we have several that they have four to five kids playing. Well, my wife is everything to our family, I'm gonna tell you. She basically keeps us together. She's there running the concession stand, you know. She never misses a game for my kids. She makes sure she's there and they know that. So without her, I mean, there would be no way that I could actually do anything that I do now. My kids can always call up Clint and ask him for different favors. Um, one specifically is when my son needed to get his glove relaced. Um, he was looking everywhere to find that and somebody had mentioned Clint that he does that. If the boys need something, they know if Clint can do it, he'll do it. Um, and I think that's how he treats a lot of our kids in the community as well. One of my fondest memories, we have a uh, student that was that was getting into some trouble and things weren't going well in his life. And so he, we went out and we sponsored him because his family just didn't quite have enough money to get him involved. So we sponsored him ourselves through the league. And um, I saw this, this individual really take to baseball and he started improving. And he went from getting in trouble all the time and going down the wrong path. And now this individual got a full scholarship to play at the next level. And that's something that we're really proud of. And that's what we want for those kids. Last year, <laughs> At one of our softball games, it was the championship to go to like sectionals and we all just started dancing. And so it helped because he started dancing and he's a horrible dancer. But it helped because it like loosened us all up because we were so nervous. Yeah, yeah he's pretty <laughs> <Yeah>. fast. <laughs> he does the sprinkler. It's not good.